Greetings and salutations, folks, and welcome back to Doom Sigil, the map pack created by John Romero years, many years, many years after the creation of the original Doom. I find myself uh, wondering exactly what went into the making of this of this uh, map pack. Uh, largely because I wonder, like, like obviously he's not going to be using the same original tools uh, that he used to make uh, that they used on the original game. Uh, uh, well, and even if they use the same tools, it's definitely not going to be on the same type of computer. So, and the same hardware. Um... So I wonder, like, if just, like, the modern tools and modern computers has enabled the creation of map packs for uh, these older games uh, in a way that maybe it wasn't quite so easy. A lot of... You know, a lot of narrow halls. Oh, hello. I kind of like this bridge, though. Uh, this bridge that I'm overlooking. Ah, hello. Thank goodness these are just regular pistoliers. No shotgunners amongst them. Amongst their kind. Huh. Uh, there we go. That map. Eh. Oh. Ah, damn it. Okay, now that is just cheap. That is... That is grade A garbage. Concealing enemy enemy positions using sprites. Got a rocket launcher. Another one at the very least. Ah! Where did you come from? Probably from that door that opened that I when I stepped uh, in this area. This, this, uh, his map pack has a lot of step forward and things have changed behind you. Which... Oh, hello. You son of a... Which, um... Like, I, I understand to a degree as, like, a method of... of level design. Because... Because basically this means that you can't really trust the area around you. You're always kind of watching your back. Um, but at the same time, this also means constantly moving forward and backward. And these narrow hallways make for very linear progression. Um, it, I guess it echoes more towards Doom 1 than Doom 2, because Doom 2 had lots of those open areas uh, filled with bad guys, and this is more very enclosed areas. Bad guys raised on super high ledges that you cannot see just out of view. Ah, son of a... Where did that come? Where is... Oh. There we go. 
Anybody over this way? No. At the very least, there is a convenient staircase. A very narrow staircase. But this level is actually fairly large. Um, there's a lot of branching paths, so I don't exactly... Like, I saw a key at one point. Oh, hello. Okay. After all that time, uh... Oh, you son of a... Uh, of course it spawned a big guy right when I picked up the BFG. Ah! <laughs> that is very convenient. Hmm. It would be nice if I could find some help. Because I am getting edging very, very close to death. Upon its precipice do I lie. Oh, here's the red key. Dead. Oh. I don't know if that was the smart decision, but that was a decision. Hmm. Now this is just way back at the beginning again. Did I somehow happen? Yeah, I guess I did pass by a health. Uh, because at that time I was a very healthy person. Oh, there we go. Ah, damn it. How very, very rude of that. Oh. Ah. You know, it's too bad the lava doesn't actually hurt them. Because that would be very convenient. Excellent. Okay. So that at least took care of those guys. But I'm still quite unhealthy. Yeah, and I must have picked up the health in this area after that first uh, encounter with all of those imps. I'm going to save to a new slot. That way, if I've really dug a hole for myself... Um... I can, at the very least, back up to uh, that last slot um, and hope for the best on my second attempt. It would be nice if I was actually able to see... There's a lot of dark areas. A lot of darkness. Oh. A little bit of caution seems to, uh... Ah, damn it. Well, <laughs> uh... And I was just talking about being cautious. I guess uh, that's what I get for throwing caution to the wind and stepping forward. So what changed? All right, I'm just going to pick that up because I'm probably not going to be... Oh, hello. Uh, 
Oh. A lot of things change. What on earth? Okay, this is cool. It has this very strong, like, what on earth am I even looking at? Five going on with it. Um, what was in there? What do I get from being up here? Nothing. Okay. Okay, I think I saw a power up. I think I saw a power up over to the left there. Oh, hello. Alright, so that gets rid of those. Oh, hello. I'm gonna back up a bit. Excellent, okay. And I'm also going to save my game. Just in case. Oh, hello. Always mistrusting. Everything around. Okay, so this takes... This takes me up on the bridge. Ah, great. That is not what I wanted to hear. That is a lot of teleporting sounds. Okay, now these guys are being incredibly rude and blocking up the window. Anybody else? More people? Oh. Okay, this is... That? Who is shooting at me? Ah. Uh, this is not the, uh... That worked kind of sort of better than I expected. All right. Okay. Um, I seem to be kind of sort of holding things together. Who? There's health. At the very least. Shotgun shells. You know, maybe this route takes me. 
Huh. Or not. Oh, hello. This level has definitely dwindled my rock supply. Oh, hold on. If this is what I think it is, it is the worst. Yeesh. Although you can kind of see the limitations of the Doom engine with uh, the fact that the ceiling is the exact same shape. as the floor that I'm walking on. Although uh, that might also be just a quick way of making this very specific. Oh my gosh. Just a little narrow. Ugh. He's, oh. All right. Pain gun seems to be the way to go, and I haven't looked here. All right. Some health. I'm almost back up to not nose bleeding and red eyed. Um, all right, looks like I might have missed something. Oh, a clip. Here's to a no clipping cheat for this room. All right, I'm gonna save my game before I touch that button because I don't know what it's gonna do. Luckily, I can't see who I'm fighting. There we go. And there goes the health that I also just collected. Hopefully, one day I'll actually be able to collect some health and hold on to it. Okay, I can see there's a health on the other side. Ah, there we go. So I'm going to save here. That was a journey. Anything in this direction? Ah. Uh, wow. This is... I have no idea what's going on past that point. I'm pretty sure I don't actually have to go in that direction now. So I think I'm just not going to. Oh, hello. That's health. Well, let's circle around here. I'm I've, apparently there must have been some areas here I skipped. Or let's just move on with our lives and try to stay alive the best we can and climb back up here. I think the exit is probably that uh portal at the center of the room here um but i don't know like it's a very strange level design if that is okay it is not this room i am mistaken it seems like it would be a, that but i guess i have to actually continue on and this is actually the path i'm supposed to take which seems like a giant load.
So I'm going to save my game many times here. Because this narrow precipice is, ah, uh, damn it, is a little bit too narrow for its own good. Like, it kind of reminds me back in... It kind of reminds me back in the day. At... Back in the day when, um... Uh, what was it called? Little Big Planet was big. And uh, a friend of mine made a very specific level, which had very, very narrow platforms to jump on. You uh, either made the jump or you die. That, it's that simple. It was such a like sliver of platform for you to land on that you had to have maximum precision. Ah. All right. Oh, hello. It looks like things are at least a little bit looser in this. Oh, I completely forgot I had the uh, that I had the plasma gun. Now that I have the um, the uh, BFG as well, it's gonna leech. Ammo from that. Ah, damn it. Which means now I have to reload there. Is that before or after I fought? Uh. Okay, it was before. It was after, should I say. I'm also gonna save again, just in case. Two inches forward, another save. A lot of these, um... I forget at the moment, yeah. Not Mancubus. A lot of these giant eyeball guys. These Eye of the Beholders. I remembered the last video, just not this one. Rising up. Rising up from the depths. So if that's not a safe way to do it, let's climb a little bit. Oh, thank you. So kind, so generous. Gifting me with a medical kit. And on the other side, the exit. And into the halls of perdition. Oh. Yep. I forgot. I was out of pistol ammo. You know, that's probably unnecessary for, uh, those specific enemies. Oh, 
Okay. See here, I feel that there, the lighting and the lack thereof is a little bit more inspired rather than just a level that's just completely swathed in darkness. Though the enemy layout, maybe not as much. So red key. Ah, ah. How very, very rude of them. Oh, just shells. I would like some help. Oh, got some bullets though. Oh, hello. I didn't even see that guy. Um, alright, so let's save up here. Ah, health. Excellent. Above 60%. That's a rarity these days. You know, I probably should use more power cells, uh, considering the fact that um, I'm s I've got so many of them, my backpack is full. So I will. There we go. Ooh, and I'll definitely want to pick that up, if I can. Uh, because then I will be at maximum healthiness. Oh, hello. Ah, where did that come from? Oh, hello. There we go. Excellent. Oh. Somebody shot something at me from somewhere. And I can't see where it's coming from. Oh, it's way up there. A, uh, caco demon. I don't know why I... ...had a minor case of amnesia. <laughs> oh, holy crap. It's a backpack. Well then. Now where did he go then? Excellent. Now I've got... Now I can actually carry more than a couple shots of ammo. And there was also a... Am I just going in a circle? I'm go going in a circle now. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Uh, there was also the energy cell pack. Okay. Um... So now where do I go? Probably into that wall. That wall teleporter is probably where I go. That seems like the likely place. Let us save our game. And we have a loop. Who am I even shooting at up there? Like, it is so dark. Like, I can barely see the people in front of me. 
let alone the people in the distance. Is he being blocked by that health pickup? Yeesh. I already. All right. Perhaps you prefer bullets. Um. Oh. That is excellent timing for me to root to get out of the map, considering the fact that. Uh, There we go. Should I pick this up now? Or should I try to save that for later? I'm gonna pick it up. Because I'm gonna forget where it is in regards to the rest of the map. Let us save my game. And what does that actually gain me? Other than a whole bunch of nothing. Like, it is... I, I guess I, don't, I probably should just consider turning up the brightness. Uh, considering how dark this area is. Because I feel like I'm quite... I'm more likely to miss where I'm actually supposed to go. Uh, simply because I don't just don't see it at all. Um, but I'm just gonna skip instead to whenever I f somehow figure out where I'm supposed to go. Oh, I did not see this path, which has more health and bullet. Bullets for a gun. Ah, uh, okay. This is, uh, um, I feel like it should have been a little bit more obvious, but... From here, it's really hard to see that platform on the left there. So thusly... I did not see where I was supposed to jump to. Oh, hello. Oh, okay. Seems like they had a crushing defeat for some reason. Although I feel like that's something like just a, reg a random modder would throw in. Like just have um, uh, an area where tons of bad guys show up out of nowhere only to be crushed by the ceiling for no particularly good reason. And very convenient. Very convenient supercharge. I'm going to save my game after this because it has been a while since I've been this particularly healthy. Oh my. Okay. Just throw a... Oh. And a cyber demon, of course. Truly, nothing is free. Especially supercharges. I'm going to save my game as I've just faced off against two of Doom's bosses. Although it makes me wonder exactly what's... How is this uh, going to finish off?
Like, what surprise is in store if you've already fought? That. If you've already fought the biggest of the baddies. At the end of the, the second to the last level. Very rude of him. All right, let us save our game. Uh, here, Baphomet was only doing Satan's bidding by bringing you back to hell. Somehow they didn't understand that you're the reason they failed in the first place. After mopping up the place with your arsenal, you're ready to face the more advanced demons that were sent to Earth. Lock and load, rip and tear. Or was it or uh, was it just eight levels? I could be horribly wrong. I guess it was just eight levels. For some reason I was expecting one more. But yeah, I guess that was a uh, doom sigil. Um I guess it was all right. Uh, it was a nice surprise to see that it even exists. Like, you usually expect the uh, like the creators of these games of old to have to never really return to their original creations. Although, like, I think I mentioned in a previous video, like, Doom uh, uh, exists in such a fashion that it can, like. I could make Doom levels if I really try. Uh, I could make my own Doom add-ons. Like, I can't make... I can't make levels that will run in Halo um, without going through some various degrees of third-party uh, software. Um, like, I can... Like, I can, it can, like, Doom comes from the era where, like, with Duke Nukem 3D, you can just pick up the build engine and make your own stuff. Um, so, the, the fact that, like, Romero even decided, uh, to make it is fun, and I give him props for the effort. Thank you for watching. Questions, comments, recommendations for something to play next? Comment down below, or send it on over to it sounded good on paper at gmail.com. That's it sounded good on paper at gmail.com. So long for now.